The utilization of spear throwers as weapons by prehistoric women played a crucial role in balancing the division of labor while hunting. Archaeologist Michelle Beber, PhD, an assistant professor in the Department of Anthropology at Kent State University, recently conducted a study on the atlatl, or spear thrower. Her research indicated that the atlatl acted as an equalizer, suggesting that women may have played an active role in prehistoric hunting. An article titled, Atlatl Use Equalizes Female and Male Projectile Weapon Velocity, was co-authored by Beber and published in the Nature Scientific Reports Journal. Beber worked alongside other co-authors, including Metin Un Aaron and Dexter Zirkel, a recent PhD graduate, both from the Department of Anthropology at Kent State, as well as Briggs Buchanan from the University of Tulsa and Robert Walker from the University of Missouri. The Atlatl, a handheld device shaped like a rod, has been a significant innovation in human technology since the Stone Age, utilized for both hunting and warfare. It functions by utilizing leverage to launch a dart. The first javelins were created hundreds of thousands of years ago, while the earliest atlatls are estimated to be tens of thousands of years old. Beber suggests that the adoption of the forager atlatl, as opposed to the thrown javelin, may have been due to the fact that a wider range of individuals could achieve comparable performance outcomes. This would have allowed for more inclusive participation in hunting activities. Through a systematic evaluation of 2,160 instances of launching weapons by 108 novices, including a number of Kent State students utilizing javelins and atlatls, Beber's research tested this hypothesis. The findings suggest that the atlatl equalizer hypothesis holds true, as the atlatl not only increases the velocity of projectile weapons compared to thrown javelins, but it also evens the playing field by normalizing the velocity of projectiles launched by both females and males. Beber stated that the outcome provides evidence that transitioning from a javelin to an atlatl would have fostered the consolidation of labor rather than its fragmentation. He added that the results imply that the interpretation of female interments with atlatl weapons should be akin to that of males, and that in particular archaeological contexts, females could have been responsible for the invention of the atlatl. According to Berber, the traditional view that women in the past were passive and that only men were hunters is becoming less and less accepted. Instead, there is a growing body of evidence from various fields, such as archaeology, ethnography and modern experiments, that women were actively involved in hunting and were successful at it, regardless of the size of the game being hunted. This consensus is particularly significant and noteworthy. Beber has made it a tradition since 2019 to take her class outside every semester to practice using the atlatl. She has observed that the female students have a natural aptitude for the technique and are able to launch darts as far as their male counterparts with minimal exertion. According to Beber, it is common for males to experience frustration when attempting to launch darts with force due to their overexertion. However, the atlatl is a basic lever that minimizes the benefit of male physical strength. According to Beber, it is plausible that the invention of the atlatl was made by females, given that they seem to have reaped the most advantageous effects from its use. Additionally, there are cases in certain primate species where females have created hunting tool technologies, as demonstrated in the Fongoli chimpanzee community. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.